And it's time now for a look list in local sports and sports. The Wayne County High School baseball team has a game this afternoon as the Jackets travel take on Vidalia Indians. Game time 5:45 this afternoon. Our pregame will begin at 5:35. Jackets coming off a nice 12-2 win at home Tuesday over Camden County. Jackets will be in Appling County Friday night. Friday's game begins at 6 p.m. JV team in action on the road Wednesday in Waycross. The JV team wins over Ware County by a score of 8 to 5. Eli Grantham went three innings, struck out five. Isaiah Lee went three innings. And then Tate Altman pitched the seventh inning, struck out all three batters at the plate. Rowan Bland had three hits, including an RBI double. Eli Grantham with two hits in the game. And the final score, Wayne County's JV eight, Ware County five. JV girls soccer team lost to Glen Academy Wednesday 2-1. to one. Wayne's goal was by Alexa Lopez. High school golf team has their first match of the season at home today. The opponent, Pierce County, a first home match. It's underway at 3.30 this afternoon at the Pine Forest Country Club. This Saturday at the Pine Forest Country Club, the annual Winter Blues Golf Tournament set for the tee off at 8.30 a.m. As of Tuesday, they had 26 teams signed up. They have room for several more. So if you want to get your three-person team into the event, 3.30 per team, call the Pro Shop today at 427-6505. It's a one-day, 27-hole event, nine-hole scramble, nine holes best ball, then break for a fried chicken lunch, and then nine holes alternating shot. Prizes for close up to on par threes, cash prizes for the winning teams in each flight. And that's the Angel Winter Blues Golf Tournament sponsored by the Men's Golf Association. And sign up today at 427-6505. Soccer team today in Savannah taking on BC. Girls match at five, boys match at seven. And the soccer team wants to remind everybody they've got a fundraising event this coming Tuesday, March 14th, Taco Tuesday. And you can pre-order with Adriana at Prime South Bank or Jolene at Dee's Auto Spa. Again, the fundraiser set for March the 14th. NFL combines are taking place in Indianapolis. Jalen Carter is not there. He's back in Athens. He's projected as possibly the number one overall pick, but he's headed back to Athens. He's, he's been charged with two misdemeanors for reckless driving and racing in, on highway streets in Athens. Warrants in connection with that fatal crash that killed teammate Devin Willock and recruiting analyst Chandler LaCroix back on January 15th. New details were released by police in Athens this week. LaCroix, LaCroix was traveling at 104 miles per hour in her vehicle hours before the crash, and her blood alcohol was 1.197, two times above the legal limit. Apparently, Carter was in another vehicle. Police report the two vehicles were involved in racing down the street before the crash. Carter released a statement that he wants to cooperate fully with police. He says he will be exonerated of the charges when all the facts come up. Again, Jalen Carter projected as a possible number one pick in the overall draft. The question is how much will this affect his draft status? The draft comes in April. Also released yesterday, Dallas police released more information on the arrest of George quarterback Stetson Bennett, who's been charged with public intoxication. It says that Bennett hid behind a brick wall when approached by police that January evening in Dallas. Bennett was arrested on January 29th when police responded to a suspicious person observed walking in a gated apartment area. According to a report, police announced themselves several times while Bennett hid behind a brick wall. He finally complied and was, and was put in handcuffs. Bennett claimed he was unable to call a friend who apparently lived at the apartment complex. Bennett did not have a cell phone on him at the time of the arrest. Officer state in the report they observed a strong odor of alcohol. Police in the report state if not arrested, they feared that Bennett could potentially become a victim of a crime that evening. Bennett, who led the dogs to back-to-back national championships, was in Dallas training for the NFL Combines. He's now in Indianapolis, expected to hit the field this week and run the 40, go through some passing drills and answer NFL questions from coaches and trying to improve his draft status in April. Again, since his arrest, Bennett has simply made no comment.